sometimes in a scan file, you have way too much data. And I want to show you how to kind of go through that data and get rid of what you don't want and only use what you do want. One of the great benefits about today's laser scanners is that you can capture a lot of data, even if you're not close to it. But sometimes you get a lot of data that you don't want. A lot of scanners can go out 150 meters, 300 meters, uh, and sometimes even further, depending on how you have your settings uh, on your scanner. Well, today I'm going to show you how to get rid of some of that data and only use what you want. As you can tell on our screen, we have a scan that was done and we're getting a lot of data that we don't really need at this time. Our main areas um, are basically the cooling tower and the exchanger area. We got tanks over here, we got tanks over here, we got rail cars over here, and there was no reason to capture all that except for the scanner did, and the person that was doing the registration didn't pare down the scan any further than they needed to. So they just let the whatever scans were, whatever points were captured were kept in the file. So what we're going to do is we're going to remove some of this data. So let's say we wanted to get rid of this tank right here. We don't need it. It's not part of our project or tie-ins are nowhere close to there. And so we're going to get rid of this tank. So to do this, basically what you do is you click on your window. Now again, you can use a fence and I'll show you how to use that. So we're gonna kind of fence around this area that we don't want anymore. Okay, so we're gonna get rid of that. We're gonna, once you got your, your area that you want, you hit enter, okay? And you can see it highlights as a, like a white color. Okay, you've got a couple of different options here. You got your regions, you got your classifications. We'll get into that later. Uh, we got crop on the outside or inside. We'll come back to that in a few minutes. And then we got delete. So if we don't want this data, we know we don't want it at all. All you do is you hit delete. Okay, so right now those files are, those scans are gone. They're not part of the project anymore. Okay, and so if you hit save, it's going to ask you if you want to save and rectify your scan. That means basically any files or any scans that you've deleted, it's going to get rid of. Okay, so I, I try not to use this very much except for in certain circumstances because you never know what you might need. Uh, now, we do have some stuff in here that we're not going to be using. So if you ever want to get that information back, all you have to do is go up to your house and go to undo. And it's going to bring the data back in because you haven't saved it at that point. But we are going to delete a lot of this because we're there's nothing out here that we're going to be working on. So again, we're going to pick window, we're going to pick fence, Come out here. Hit, and we're going to hit delete. Okay. So we've just cleaned up some of our scan. Now you can do this in a plan view. You can do this in your front view. So you can see that we've got like junk down at the bottom, probably because there was water on the ground and it was reflective. So if you want to get rid of that, that's more than fine. But remember, whatever you do on this scan, and if you have it on a uh, server that other people can use, they'll be able to see that at the same time. Okay, so we got rid of that. So now if we come up here and hit save, then it gives you that up. Hey, at, you know, heads up, optimize this project, remove 
any current undo history. So we're going to say we want to hit OK. It's going to save. And those point clouds are now gone that we did delete. Remember to like, share, and subscribe. And if you have any questions or comments, please put those down in the comments section. I've been using these to create new content, new videos um, for to help you guys out. Uh, so until next time.